Advocate Malika found the following. Firstly, the conduct of Nas and Nick during the off-air conversation with Ashwin and during the live studio broadcast of the post-match commentary of the match does not manifest naked racism and was not motivated by racist considerations. Secondly, assisted by Professor Habib, he also found that there was also no evidence of Nas or Nick exhibiting either intended or unintended subtle racism. The incident cannot be explained on the basis of the suggestion or suspicion that Ashwin was, for the most part, not present in the studio when the second half of the rugby match was televised. Fourthly, there are two factors which provide a reasonable explanation for the incident. The first is the mistaken technical assumption that there was enough time for all the analysts to express their pre-match analysis or commentary of the Lions versus Brumbies rugby match. However, the switch to the live broadcast happened sooner than anticipated and consequently there was no time for Ashwin to express his views. The panel then agreed, off air, that Ashwin would be given the first opportunity to speak after the game. The second is that it is reasonable to assume that Ashwin may have regarded the common stance adopted by Nick and Nas as patronizing when they insisted that he should thereafter speak first. Those were his main findings and I would suggest that you read the complete report to have the full context of this process. Advocate Malika SC also made a number of recommendations, all of which will be implemented by Supersport. These are that a forum will be established for the team of analysts to provide their views on the performance of the analysts and possible room for improvement during that specific broadcast after each studio broadcast. Secondly, a code of conduct will be formulated for analysts including grievous procedures and credible mechanisms to resolve any grievances they may have. Thirdly, analysts will be required to operate the touchscreen in the studio across the color line. Even though the touchscreen is the more complex of, of the functions on set. Fourthly, counseling will be offered to Mutsidisi, Nas, Nick, and Ashwin due to the emotional suffering all have endured from and since the incident. And then lastly, Supersport will take the additional step of referring Advocate Malika's report to the South African Human Rights Commission. Given Advocate Malika's findings, we expect that Nas and Nick will resume studio duties in the future. We will discuss the timing of this with the presenters and our production department. While we are disappointed that Ashwin did not participate in Advocate Malika's review, we respect his right not to do so. And in the spirit of reconciliation, I will make another attempt to reach out to Ashwin for us to find a mutually acceptable way forward so that he knows that this issue has been fairly investigated.